Hey, it's Kashik Ross here again, and this time we're actually going to work on adjusting our settings and writing our chapters. Choose the project title, go over to settings, and write something creative for your summary. Once you've written that creative thing, you can scroll down and actually add on a front cover if you have one. I don't, but I'm just going to show you, for example, save the project settings. Once it's saved, you're going to see a green bar at the top, and it's going to take you back to this home setting. You can scroll down, make sure everything looks pretty, scroll back up, and click on the project's title to return. This is where we're going to start writing our chapters. You choose write and create something that's creative, I guess. One, enter, two, add chapter, hit enter, hit add chapter, whatever makes you comfortable. But to actually write inside of the chapter, you want to choose the title, one. And here, what we can do is we can start typing. If you don't want to type in this document, um, you don't have to format everything online. You can actually write in a Word document or any word processor that you choose. Right click, copy, return, select, paste, okay? Choose the save option before moving on, and you'll notice the Microsoft Gunk vanishes. The reason that's important is because it's being formatted for an ebook. This is why I always use Fast Pencil, because I hate Microsoft Word's formatting, and Fast Pencil just does pretty things for me. If I want to actually see it in HTML format, I can choose Show HTML, and you can see that they made everything pretty. I can actually adjust and edit inside of here, edit, and then I'll choose Update. It'll pop up here, and you can choose Save once more. Do we want to move on to the next chapter? Yes, we do. <laughs> choose Next Chapter, and you can begin typing once more. Yeah. Save. Return to your home screen or your title screen, and you'll notice you have a word count. Nah. All right. See you in the next video.